Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be looking at a little bit different kind of lighter. This is a Chinese manufactured lighter. It's manufactured by a company called Kaboy. And I actually picked this up because I really like the styling of this lighter. And once I got it, it's actually pretty well built. Now I haven't tried it with putting lighter fluid in it to see how it's going to operate. But uh, it has some features to it that I really enjoy. So I set it up against the Zippo lighter here so we can take a look at it as far as size-wise. Now where a Zippo is going to come in at around 2 ounces, this one's a little heavier at about 2.7, 2.8 ounces before we got any fluid in it. But it's going to work really similar to what a Zippo does. A couple of key differences. First of all, on the bottom here, there is an, there's an O-ring down there. I don't know how well that's going to work with a flame so close to it. But the premise is when you shut this off that it's gonna extinguish the flame and it's also gonna seal so that you don't get uh, you know, fluid evaporation. And then on the bottom of the case, it's actually a sealed case and you have to open it up and it also has an O-ring seal. So when you fill your lighter fluid uh, into the lighter, close that down and it provides a seal and thus, you know, eliminating or not necessarily eliminating but reducing fluid evaporation for this lighter thereby making it last longer now i like the styling it's pretty well built but let's see how it operates so i've undone all the components here for this lighter or at least the took the flint out anyway a lot of times with these off-brand lighters what you'll find is that the spring for your flint well, you usually come in like three separate pieces. So you'll have your screw, then the spring, and then the plunger will all be separate instead of like Zippo does it with one solid piece. But in this case, uh, it's manufactured pretty much like you like they do Zippo lighters. And then it's going to use you just your standard Zippo flint as well. It's going to be the same diameter. So we'll set that in there. And if we get this spring loaded back in place, bring in our trusty Leatherman Micro to seat this down. And then we'll get some fluid in it and we'll see how it operates. I really like the fact, if nothing else, I'm worried about I'm worried about this seal up here uh, being affected by uh, the heat from the flame. I don't know how well that's going to work, but I really, really like the bottom of the case, how it seals uh, in there like that. So let's bring in some just some regular Zippo lighter fluid. We've got our premium Zippo fluid. And that little cap wants to be difficult on me. And we'll just put about 10 seconds worth. We'll set about five seconds worth. And then we'll give it a chance to soak in a little bit. And then we'll do it one more time, see if we can't get a, get a flame out of this lighter. So about five more seconds worth of fluid. And we'll set that to the side. Close our plunger, or close our seal there. We'll get it set in. I like the fitment on that. That fits up really nice. And one thing about the chimney too, actually, let's bring that Zippo in here. You can see that the chimney on a Zippo uh, is a lot thinner. This is actually built a lot more robustly. Now it doesn't have the same, this one only has a 10 hole uh, as opposed to the 16 hole chimney of the Zippo. But I think, well, you never know until you try it, right? So let's see how it works. That actually works pretty nicely. You close it down. I don't really smell any lighter fluid off of it. Now, it's just something I got to use for a little while to see, but it, boy, that really lights up nicely. This is actually a pretty interesting zip or, well, off brand. <laughs> Good boy. I like the styling of this one. Even though it's a Chinese manufactured, it has some heft to it, it seals up nicely. I like, I, I'm just only worried about that one seal right there as to whether or not that seal is going to hold up or stand the test of time when you're using the lighter. Now, I think if you're just using it to light cigars or cigarettes or just, you know, just regular, uh, you know, usually you turn a lighter on or, or start a lighter, you're only using it for five, 10 seconds. If you're going to be standing it up, if you're going to be trying to use it as a light source or something, then I think that you would run the risk of really damaging that seal uh, pretty quickly because the heat will dissipate in there fairly quickly and cause that that uh, that o-ring to shrink up on you and thereby mess up your seal now they didn't send any extra seals with it which is kind of unfortunate because i think it would be nice if they would have sent along two or three uh, and this one is called their pure copper antique style cigarette lighter or bronzy 
They actually have a few of these, some of them with some designs. They have one that has a wood case on it. Uh, the range anywhere from prices to about $17. I think the highest one I saw was like $25. So they're pretty reasonably priced. And it's actually built really hefty. I'm, I'm really surprised at how well this works and how solid it really feels. This is a nicely designed lighter. Every once in a while, you get something that's actually pretty good. Well, this is a look at the Kaboy lighter. I'll tell you what, let me, let me just rotate this thing around here so you get a better look and better feel for how this thing is put together. It is actually really solid. I really like the fact that that chimney is a lot more robust feeling than what you get in a standard Zippo. I like the fact that it has those seals. I think it's gonna operate pretty well, actually. So that is a look at the steampunk style lighter from Kaboy. I'll leave some links in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing this one. They actually have a couple different styles. And I showed it to a couple people before I did this video and they were like, hey, that looks pretty cool. And honestly, that was kind of my impression as well. The Kaboy lighter. I don't know how well it's gonna last, but we're gonna find out. My name is Ben, you've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.